Hi friends, welcome to. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can upload image using React JS. Okay. So first thing that we uh, we will do, let's create a project of React JS. So npx create React app file upload. Oh, well, in React, we cannot use uppercase. Always we have to use lowercase. That's why we are getting this error. Okay, in the while image is being uploaded, let's open this project into Visual Studio Code. Still getting downloaded. Okay, now let's go to here and then add the JS. Let's delete everything. Let's create here a T tag. And here, TRV. Let's do one thing. Bootstrap CDN. We will need bootstrap in this. Just copy it and paste here in desktop.html and then now let's work here so that we can use here class class name container and here class name row div class name call md12 image upload h1 div div close and then here Class name row div class call md six select file. In here, input type file. And here button button upload now the rights function here handle change and here will be On change this 
function intention so here the selected file then these files the target of this so now let's check when we select the file what happens here let's refresh once and let's select any file control shift i we'll check here in console let's select any file and then open not define reading zero line number eight. Oh, there is made mistake, it will be files only now. So, here will be files only like this. So, now let's try to upload any file. Yes, you can see the file information is showing here. So the same file information we will send later. Okay. Next. So what's happening here? This is the file name and it's a function. So we are setting the value in the selected file. And here and here we need to provide a form. So this is the handle submit and and the submit form now we will create function here cost and the submit so here will be e and then e dot event dot default to prevent the default submission and inside handle submit we will write here form data this will take an empty uh, form data container and then we will append the value here and now we will write here axios so we will write here axios then result and here the response it says axios is not defined because we need to import here axios import axios from axios so now we are getting error axios is not resolved so we need to install this npm install axios remember this axios is for sending and receiving uh, async data asynchronous data okay. to our rest api Before that, we will check if all uh, this path is correct or not. So let me check. Yes, this file looks fine. So the name will be file data. Okay. Yeah. File data. We will send it. We will show you that what we have written here. But for the time being, let's check here. by uploading any file here network then select file sorry first we need to select the file
let me check any of these this is the file then upload status valid but here it is saying array so let's go to the folder and check let's go here the same htdocs then php rect file upload this one then this is so file yes you can see the file successfully got uploaded here right let's delete everything and check again and go here and refresh select file again select this time this file and upload click on upload so the file is uploaded successfully if you want to check then you can see the file is successfully uploaded so what I have written in the code in PHP file let me just show you this is very common for handling course origin problem okay so we have allowed all domain okay and let's delete this so here is target area that means image folder and base name we are taking here uh, the image name and file type we are checking from here the submit then okay so the, we are checking different file already exist and then tell me this problem this problem this problem and finally file is uploaded here okay into this folder and status is showing here valid if you want to uh, insert into the your database then here you can write insert query insert query of mysql or whatever your yeah, mysql php mysql you can write so that the image name will be saved into your database now suppose you want to display the message also after uploading okay so how you can do that let's just copy this we will set state here okay so it's right here msg after message set msg set msg okay so once the result comes here uh, if data result result dot data dot valid then here set message okay initially it will be blank so set message here right here file loaded success fully and this value we will show somewhere like just below this h2 and then oh, msg then now let's upload any file this time I'm uploading this now okay so the data is coming from there status actually it's coming okay we need to change here is it the status equal equal to valid 
then this message now let's refresh and check again it's upload some other file say this time uh, I upload this one okay yes you can see it will display you file uploaded successfully in case it fails simply you can in L section you can set different message file there was problem in uploading file something like that you can write there is problem in uploading the file suppose I select same file again this one I'm selecting again okay now let's select this file again that means duplicate file so upload. yes there is problem in uploading the file why because there is in this script it's written that uh, same file already exists this cannot be uploaded again it checks that is why you are showing here so guys as you can see with functional component it's very easy to upload image in just few lines of code so what we did initially set state blank then handle change this function uh, this function is fired when you select the file and ultimately for uploading purpose this one is the code so hope you like this video thank you for watching bye bye